Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bone of by beer night So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews. Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I've had a few beers from uh, Pretty Things uh, at quite a few brew fests this year and even last year, but I've never sat down and reviewed one of their beers officially, so let's give it a try. In fact, we're going to start with uh, the Jack Dior. It's a Saison American, as they call it. 6.4% ABV. Pretty Things out of uh, Westport, Massachusetts. It says this beer is inspired by Belgian farmhouse ales, and it even uses three Belgian yeasts. Um, but the hops are American, and I guess Pretty Things is a husband and wife team. Um, this bottle is a little old. It's at March, bottled in March 2011. All right, pretty typical farmhouse saison appearance. I mean, just straight up gold there. A little hazy. Not, not, I don't see any carbonation. Not much of a head on there either. Mmm, it does have that Belgian kind of farmhouse funk to it. Definitely that kind of Belgian. I mean, they, it said it used three Belgian yeast strains in here. I get definitely that, plus like a significant lemon. I don't know, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Wow, that is dry. If you saw my video at the Albany Beer Fest just a few weeks ago, I said the exact same thing, just taking that little three-ounce sample. That beer, even while it's in your mouth, it like just sucks all the moisture out of your mouth. I can just feel like all the kind of black pepper, um, like a lemon rind, like a pith in there. Um, kind of like Duval. Um, a much more... It's more of like a, an arid dryness than a, than a spicy, spicy dryness though. Um, it's a light kind of dry bitter there too. Just like I said with the nose, lots of uh, it's it's almost straight up lemon in this. It's like it's not a citrusy beer like a West Coast IPA. It's just like lemon peel, lemon grass, the actual lemon fruit. Um, and then, and but like with all the, like all the acidity removed, so it's kind of, of dry, kind of like all the moisture removed. Um, pretty tasty though. It's um to me, this tastes more like an American beer than a Belgian beer. Um, not a whole lot of Belgiany qualities in here. Mouthfeel is, it's it's a little thick. It's it's very soft. It's pretty comfortable. Um, for a second there, it's kind of refreshing, especially now that I'm really getting into it. It's now I'm getting used to it. Like it's not quite as drying, but it's definitely has this very strange effect, like where you can kind of feel just like how, you can just like taste how dry it is. I mean, well, saisons are kind of supposed to be like that. The aftertaste is alright. It's definitely kind of like a dry, fairly clean aftertaste. It's has a little bit of that kind of pasty, uh, doughy kind of taste you get in a lot of Belgian beers. But, you know, nothing, nothing as intense or as noticeable as a lot of the ones I've had. I mean, like I said, so far so good. So, I've got, uh, you know, some time to kill and half a bottle of this left, so... I'm going to sip on this and we'll come back to my final thoughts. Cheers. I really like the whole lemon character it's got. I feel like the actual lemon fruit. Like the... Not the... Not... Like the kind of citrusiness, but without the tartness, without the acidity. A um, little bit of black pepper in there. Um, but, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's not a very complex beer. I wouldn't call it refreshing, either. It is very easy to drink, though. I mean... The soft, kind of thick, tepid body goes down very, very smooth. I 
Hmm. Not really sure what you'd pair with this. Maybe just cheese or... Uh... I don't know. Anyways, I mean, a beer like this is kind of like... I don't want to say, like... I don't want it to come across as I dislike the beer. I, I don't. I like it. It's just like, you know, I guess it just didn't live up to my expectations. So, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10 for the Pretty Things Jack Dior. You know, it's a good beer. That's pretty much all i got to say about it. I like it, but, you know, I wouldn't really... You know, I, I'm just not a Saison guy in general, so... Thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's Beer Reviews. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.